Good day friends, my name is Joepoke and welcome back to Space Engine. So I know I haven't uploaded a video in almost three weeks, which is a huge, huge gap and I do apologize if anyone cares, but yeah, I've been super busy and I've had a ton of homework. I really shouldn't be recording a video now, but my conscience keeps screaming at me telling me to make a video. So I wanted to just put one out as fast as I could. Um, this, this one might be a little bit short because I do have a lot of work to do, um, but yeah, so let's begin. I don't know what we're going to do. Similar to the last uh, Space Engine video, really don't have a plan for this. This is Andromeda, and I was just, yeah, so I just flew to Andromeda. Andromeda has a lot of little baby galaxies around it, just like the Milky Way, as we found in the last video. Holy cow. Look how dense these stars are. Whoa. I wonder if any of these have life. In my, I can't even, I can hardly read the text. There's so many stars. Here's a nebula of some sort. What is this? It's a bubble, a planetary nebula. I don't know what that means, but this thing looks really cool. It's like a 3D bubble. Well, that is something, huh? This is starting to hurt my eyes. I don't know if I should stay here or not. Ooh, there's a blue thing. Another, another, another planetary nebula. This one looks... Okay, get over here. There we go. This is an interesting shape. Kind of like an hourglass. Looks kind of like a uh, supernova, or no, not maybe not a supernova. That et ETA Carine, whatever that's called. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong or right. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but um, it looks kind of like that with the two like, like bursting sides. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna move on. Okay, um, let's just find a planet. I want to see a planet. I haven't been on Space Engine in a long time. Ooh, there's one with life. Let's see what we got. An ice world with subglacial life. I don't know what's happening to the planets right now, but they are freaking out in the, uh, in, like, the preview thumbnails. Okay. It stopped. Okay, good. Let's let this render in. There we go. Yeah, I've seen this color scheme before. Like I said, and I don't know if it was the last video, but, like, I do notice that the planets are kind of similar in, like, color or... I don't know, like, the way everything is, which probably makes sense. I mean, this game is procedurally generating everything, so... Whoa, I haven't seen this texture yet, right as I'm saying that all the plants look the same. This one actually looks kind of nice. I wish the frame rate was slightly better, but I guess we're going to have to deal. This is a very, um, plateau-y planet. Yes, I just said plateau-y. I'm not sure if there's a word for that, but... It looks like there's a lot of plateaus and sort of canyons and stuff like that. Interesting. What's the atmospheric pressure? 15. Uh, 15 times the atmosphere of Earth. It's also pretty cold. Huh. Ooh, this desert looks pretty cool. It's got, like, rings and stuff. Whoa! I, I really should leave this place. I think that's why the frame rate is so, so poor. Am I even going to be able to see the rings from the surface? Yeah, I can. Looks pretty cool, actually. There's just too many stars here. I'm leaving. Ah, there's that 60 frames I like so much. Let's just hang out at Andromeda for now. So what's, I don't know what the difference is between these, like, planetary nebulas, the diffuse nebulas, nebulas, um... I'm sure they all have their own characteristics. I'm not sure what they are, though. I know I said last time that I wasn't sure how many more of these I was going to make, but I felt like making one just because I wanted to play Space Engine on my spare time, so I figured I might as well make a video about it because it is a very popular series on the channel. The thing is, though, I don't know if I'm going to make much more, not only because they take a lot of record and I want variety and all those, all those reasons, but I also I feel bad because people that look for Space Engine videos are most of the time smart and they don't 
but they want to learn something at least and I don't know very much about all of this stuff and like Scott Manley for example when he does a space engine video he doesn't do them very often but when he does them he talks about like all the sciencey stuff and I just don't know all of that to be informing people about like I'm not educated that much in this but yeah so sorry for being dumb one with life what do we got warm oceana boring so yeah really all i do is look for planets at this point <laughs> and i know i don't know if that's annoying to people but i think planet the way they generate planets in this game is like the one of the coolest things i've ever seen in a game because i mean it's just so big you know another green planet let's see what it looks like yep she's green all right let's see how thick is the atmosphere not super thick, but I think it's thick enough to look cool. Which is all that matters when you're landing on an alien planet, is whether or not it looks cool. Ooh, 26 atmosphere units. I'm not sure how to say that. Like, I know what it means. I mean, it means, like, 26 times the atmosphere of, like, Earth's normal pressure. Um, but, like, I don't know. Is it, did you say ATMs, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I say that way too much when I'm making a Space Engine video. Hey, let me know in the comments if you guys know because I'm stupid. The textures look very high res today. I don't know why. I don't think I changed any settings. I love doing this so much in Space Engine, just panning around slowly. Because, like I said, I love the way these planets are generated. Like, I love the way all the, the little details of the mountains are all it looks so artistic even though it's procedural generation it's very nice another oceana with life what a awesome day we're having a cold desert with a oh wait no 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 go back go back this might be a binary planet maybe or not this guy is super tiny. He looks almost the same size in this picture. But that's the one that has life and this one doesn't. Ooh, this one looks kind of different. I think those are clouds. Ooh, clouds are cool. I like clouds. Ooh, they're pretty high up too. Usually clouds, in my experience in this game, have been kind of low. I like a good high cloud. Again, I'm sorry you guys can't hear the music, but I think they added new music or something. I've never heard the music that's playing at all right now. It sounds like... Sounds like flutes. Or something. It's definitely an instrument that I've never heard in this game before. I'm rambling a lot. I'm sorry. I want to find a really nice looking planet. Nope. Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, and this video is going to be really choppy. I just like the last one, unfortunately, because I just keep hopping to different planets. Because like I said, I don't know what else to do. I, I'm not smart. I can like, I can do the orbit thing. Let's, let's try to do that. Let's do orbits. That was kind of cool last time, actually. Um, how did I do it? Oh, yeah, oh. Cool orbits. It's the universe in motion, or just a single planetary system. Ooh, this kind of reminds me of the, the rings in Universe Sandbox, how it, like, the middle goes fast, and then, like, the outside goes slightly slower, then the next layer goes slightly slower than that, and so on. Um, I'm, it might be going the same speed, but it might be covering a longer distance. That's why it looks like it's going slower. I was thinking about that. Or maybe it just looks like that. Maybe it is going faster. I don't know. I'm just, I, don't, I don't know. Someone try, Someone actually explained that in the last video. Someone tried to explain it. But I forget what he said. It was a very interesting explanation, though. Thank you for that. Alright, I'm having a tough time trying to find nice locations. But I think I have some saved. Maybe. Not sure how many of these are just come with the game and how many I saved. I don't think I saved that many, though. This was an accident. Goodbye. I think this was that green planet that I found a while back. Yeah. You like the first planet I found that was like a greenish color. Whoa. The system is really weird. Oh, I get it. That's the Barry Center. No one corrected me in the last video, so I think I'm saying that right. Barry Center. I am. I am so paranoid about that. I don't know why, but it's like bothers me when I don't pronounce something correctly. Um, let's see this thing in action now. This system looks pretty big. Ooh, look at that. Wow. 
wow, look at this. There's so many, these planets are so far out. And all these, far out, but like all these, um, like the, each star has its own little individual, this is going to make me dizzy, um, has their own little individual system as well. Ooh, they get close too. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is in the antenna galaxies. I love the antenna galaxies, they're so cool. I already made a video about them, but it's fun to revisit. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave this video here, I'm sorry, I, I know this one is probably shorter than usual. I don't know, I'll know when I edit it down, but I'm sorry, I, the videos have been so far apart, I'm going to try my best uh, over the next couple weeks to get a lot of videos out, because I like making videos, but it's just like I don't have any time or ambition, because I'm tired all the time. Um, because of school. School is great, kids. But I will try to do my best. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.